Hey, Mike. Oh, well. Hey, guys. Mike's not here today. He's actually in California. He went to Russian River last night, so yeah, screw him. Well, don't screw him because he's bringing back a boatload of good Russian River sours. He's going to bring back some Pliny, some Blind Pig. So yeah, so look for those reviews in the next coming weeks. We'll probably stagger them a little bit because, uh, yeah, we don't want to blow our load too soon. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're testing on something new today. So if you guys can't see, this is a... Uh, is a lapel mic so i'm recording this right now on my phone but we're also recording here um this is basically going to be for um outdoor and off-site recording so we did our first real off-site recording at night shifts oktoberfest hence the shirt um and we used a mix of phone and another usb mic we had and the sound quality was really bad we actually did a review so this is this is going to be a morph review um it's the 922 16 morph um we actually did a review of it at the brewery um fresh from the tap and the sound quality it's pretty bad you can hear it but there's wind there's background noise so we're hoping these new mics will help that in the future so we i figured um i'll just do this quick review and kind of we'll tag it on to the um to the current review so that you can kind of get a better idea of where we stand and it'll be interesting because i have not i didn't watch the other review um in the last couple days so i actually forget what we gave this so it'll be interesting to see if it actually matches up and if it doesn't is my face going to be red um, so like I said, this is, um, batch 922.16. Our mid-September edition features a blend of Falconer's Flight, Bravo, and Vic Secret Hops. Light, fresh, bergamot, and orange zest aromas, smooth-bodied with pleasant bitterness. 5.3%, almost sessionable, very crushable from what I remember. Um, so with the Falconer's Flight, you're going to get more of like the grapefruit lemony with it. Um, with the Vic Secret... I usually I get a lot of juice from the Vic Secret. I don't know. That's just me. I get Vic, like bittery bitterness and juiciness from Vic Secret. So I'm looking forward to this. And Bravo, I'm not too familiar with it, but I think that also gives more of like a a floralness to it. So let's see, let's see what we get on the nose here. Actually, well, let's take a look at the color first. Um, yeah, hazy. Can't see anything. Nice creamy, creamy head with like. Nice lacing just sticking around there. Um, and oh, this actually smells almost like a... I uh, actually just had a one-hop this time, Vic Secret, last night. It actually smells almost like that. I'm getting a lot of the Vic Secret right, th right, right up front. Yeah, like juice, bitterness, resin, grass. Um, I can get a little bit of the orange. I don't know. I don't. Maybe not as much orange zest on the nose as 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 they as they said in the in the in the notes, but hmm. Yeah, that it smells delicious. All right, let's give this a uh, let's give this a let's give it a taste. Yeah. So biscuity, crackery malt. Followed by um, some bitterness at the back, at the back end of the tongue. As the description says, it's very smooth. You can just, you can kind of tell, just by the way. I, I don't know if it translated well with the video, but just the way the the the, the head retention was and the way the head looked, you could just tell it was going to be a very smooth sipping beer. This is very crushable for five point three percent. Oh yeah. You're getting pine, a little bit of grapefruit, some citrus. Um, I'm getting more of the crackery malt in the bitterness, um, which normally sometimes bitterness kind of throws me off. Like like if you have like a uh, like a topaz hop or whatnot, um, that's where it kind of like is like, well, that's a little too bitter for me. But this is like, well, they put it right in the damn thing. Smooth body and pleasant bitterness. So yeah, it's very it's a very pleasant bitterness, and I really really like it. Um, as for a rating. Uh, I'd probably go with four and a quarter, four, four and a quarter. Um, if Mike was here, I, I don't want to rate for him, but I figure we'd probably some probably say we'll meet at four. So I'm going to go with four. Just, why not four? What do you think, uh, first order Stormtrooper? You the thing working? No? Drop the weapon, now. I don't think a beer is a weapon, sir. Um, yeah, so again, sorry, Nerd Sense 4. Um, I don't have any final thoughts other than drink more all the time um 
check out the website, nerdsense.net. From there, um, hit up social media. You got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Sometimes we're on Snapchat. I mainly read Snapchat. I don't really understand Snapchat. I just don't know how to do filters last night, so that tells you something. Um, and I work in tech for a living, so go figure. Um, anyways, yeah. So I'm Sean, and Mike's in California, and this is Nerd Sense Drinks. really excited to use my new bottle opener um if you guys like watching our beer reviews and you like other beer reviews you should check out greg's beer reviews but if you're watching our beer reviews i have a feeling you're probably already watching greg's beer reviews because he's the pioneer in the beer reviews and uh i ended up buying a shirt and uh one of his badass bottle openers and for some reason i brought this down here i'm like oh i can't wait to use it on this video and i got down here i was like oh yeah it's a can i don't know why i didn't think of that but it's basically like a switchblade so it's pretty sweet um Yes, it's the small things in life that that make me happy.